Hello guys, welcome to Vincistech.com. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to parameterize uh, the data into the Selenium IDE. So parameterization is nothing but just passing some data from an external file. So here we are passing some data through an XML file. So for this we need first an IDE that's a plugin for Firefox. and we want a Firefox browser and one XML file and we need an user extensions.js and this is the main file core file where uh, Selenium IDE library is uh, written here right so how do you get that uh, user extensions files etc we are going to have a look now so first we need an IDE so plugin for Firefox and finally we need a program we need a program uh, to write in IDE window to perform the task right so now we'll go here we'll open Firefox so I go here web developer where I have my selenium IDE so here we have to write some program to do the parameterization function that's fine so here we have options in the options you can see here the selenium core extensions that's name is called user hyphen extensions or js so here you have to upload your modified user extensions file so means this is basically a javascript file so here you have to write the coding according to your functionalities or any new features you want to add to the ide so you can do the experimental feature etc and here you can tick activate developer tools enable experiment features like that so that's fine so i have uploaded the user extension.js file so i click ok so now i want to open the program so file open the program is called parameter so here i written a command called load test data actually this command is not built in IDE so we have to write this command and to perform this operation so if this command what it will do load test data okay, you can see here you don't have any reference for this because it's written by ourselves. suppose if you click on open you can see the reference here open URL means it's by built in IDE so you have meaning of open URL what it will do etc so open URL means it will open the URL so here this command open the google.co.uk so I written the command called load test data it will load the file from my C drive so the file name is called google searches.xml so that google searches.xml is nothing but this one so here I written some small function sorry it's not a function so small test passing data this is called passing the data from an external file that's called parameterization so not only XML file if we pass any data from actual sources like uh, Excel files or uh, CSV format or XML or notepad any data you are passing from an external file to the program is called parameterization so here we have written a tag called test data so this is the test data here I want to test the phrases selenium training in London QTP training in London dotnet training in London this is my data I return as a value of phrase here so this is an XML file and here I have user extension .js. this you can download from the internet so here we have written some small function uh, it will read up to end of the file whatever you have the data in the file so here this end of file is nothing but it will read the data into the XML file from starting to end now go back to our IDE program so now here we return some while function as well if you go for 
while you cannot see any log or reference etc so this while also we return in the user extension .js file so it will do basically a while loop performation so this command will load the data from this xml file this while it will read not equals to test data dot end of file means it will read the entire xml file and by each set of record like next test data so first it will go and selenium training in london it will read and it will perform something and again it will go for this phrase like that so next open so what it's going here selenium is going here loading the test data and it's reading the file and reading the phrase one by one and it's searching with the phrase so this is called open url so each test data is going to the google.co.uk and type q equals to q is nothing but here the target q is nothing but the search window for google so if you find this by using by xpath so i will cover this in the another video so dollar phrase this value this dollar phrase is nothing but here you can see the phrase so this phrase is supplying here and click on the google button until end of the file so this while loop and load test data function we have to write in the user extensions.js file and you have to load this file into your ide so then only it will work otherwise it won't work so now how to get that uh, user extension dot code something you can try to get in internet so go to selenium website here go to documentation go down here you have something called sequence of evaluation and flow control so if you go here you can click here go to selenium id js and you have to try somewhere here you can see some documentation of uh, these bits here uh, click on reference document no this is not the one now go it yeah maybe you can go here this one yeah this is some developed by selenium id flow control go to while loops etc so you can download and go through this so here you will get some developed user extensions dot file so this is a good documentation from selenium website and is a third party developer go and get the file from here and if you want a general ide.js you can save from here by clicking this link can you see here you can click here and save this uh, uh, general selenium ide.js file for your experimental features right so now we'll go back to our ide so now i have loaded the file i have uh, a file in c drive google searches.xml that's this one and i have user extension.js i have uploaded to my ide and now I return a program like this and now I am going to run this so make sure you have Firefox open to run these things so I have opened my Firefox now I am going here I am clicking I want to see in slow mode so let's go and run the code You can see here it's uh, selenium is uh, selenium id passing the data from the google searches dot xml one by one so it's reading all the data whatever i supplied from an external xml file to the ide so you can see here the log file as well whatever it is tested so you can see here executing load test data from an xml file and until so it's reading the data go to next data so first phrase it has taken from the xml file as selenium training london and it's going to google.co.uk it's open and it searched for that string and again it's gone to next string and it searched in the google like that so it's continued as much as you can supply the data it will go and run and until end of the file so this is how you can do parameterization in the selenium ide by different set of set test cases when you performing something set of login functions with different set of data so you can use parameterization concept thanks for watching the video